Hey y'all, remember four months ago when I said we may have a very new, cool comet of the century on our hands? That's four months ago, and now everybody's starting to pay attention. You may not remember because a lot of people didn't watch that video. But now, people are starting to pay attention as Comet C-2013 US-10 Catalina has whipped around the sun and is getting in position to possibly put on a good show. But remember, comets are like cat, dragon, dark matter, unicorn, asteroids or dirty snowballs for short. You never know what they're going to do. Asterisk, usually they just disappoint you and leave you sad and depressed. But let's get our hopes up like Charlie Brown and then have Lucy pull the soccer ball from us, shall we? Again. Thor News is the record holder for Stellar Cool. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Hit the button, baby. Party dance time. Thor News presents. I'm always like, hey, comment. Where did you come from? Comet hunting is fun and easy. Well, I don't know about that. My astronomy street cred is thick, bitches. Say what you want, because, uh, whatever. What I'm talking about now is comets. And when I start to talk about comets, major duds usually happen. And hey, I got a funny feeling. This one is not going to be a dud. Looking at the picture we are looking at now, I would say, hey, hell no. This is not a dud comet. I began talking about Comet US 10. US 10, C 2013, Catalina, months ago. And now everybody's talking about it. And the good news is, soon she may be visible to the naked eyes. We may see her visual falling rain. But please, for the love of God and all else, don't get too excited. Comets can break your heart. So don't get crushed by unrealistic expectations. First views of Catalina. And people are freaking out because she has a compact green tail. Two tails. That woman has two tails to drop like it's hot. And the really cool thing about this story was, originally they said it was one of the biggest asteroids they'd ever found new, and it was headed our way with a weird orbit. But then they were like, no, 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 it's a comet. So it went from a potentially hazardous asteroid to a harmless comet. It was great, because originally they said it had a six-year orbit, and then it changed it to like a million-year orbit, which is a pretty big discrepancy. It's like saying, hey, dude, let's go out drinking tonight. I'm kind of broke. Can you buy me drinks? And the guy going, yeah, dude, I got a million dollars in my bank. I can buy you drinks all night. And then your buddy going, oh, hey, wait, I've got six dollars in my bank account. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That'd be weird. You'd be like, either you're a liar or you're totally crazy. I'm not sure if that applies here. Yes, it does. Right now, it's at about a magnitude six. We're hoping it'll drop to like a three so we can all see it in the sky. Usually, brightness is flatline about now. But like I said, comets are unpredictable, much like your face. All right, well, so just stay tuned and keep your eyes on this comet. It could be a Christmas comet we've all been looking for for so long. And could be awesome, maybe? I do think it is weird that we always get the cooler comets coming around the sun around Thanksgiving and then Christmas. You know what I'm saying? Why is that? Science, do you have an explanation for me? Pretty please? Is it the same way that this spring is fireball season? Which doesn't really make any sense whatsoever. But they've tried to explain it a couple times. And I'm like, I don't believe your weird-ass explanation. That's just too weird. And it doesn't seem to fit. Always a confusing explanation. Never a straight answer. Where have I heard that before? Somewhere. Somewhere over the rainbow. While the comet is already visible to dedicated types, the less enthusiastic may prefer to wait until December, when it should be higher up and in a darker sky. They say comets are like omens. And omens, uh, don't exist, says science. Yeah, I'm telling you, Catalina looks special. Doesn't that look special to you? This comet already looks way cooler than Comet Ice never did. But no, this is not a sun grazer. Technically, it's not grazing anything. Unless outer space is grass. Then it's high as shit. Astronomical pot joke fail. My bad. Comets bring out the worst in me. Wow, it's like my own animation. Oh, look what I did. I animated it. Look. No hands. Woo. Alright. These touch pads are kind of fun. See, I, I didn't know how to use a touchpad. And then someone was just like, oh yeah, you just gotta touch it. I was like, oh. I tried that with my iPhone. I just tried to eye it, but it didn't work. My joke was dumb. Welcome to Dumb Joke Celestial Snowball Evening. Hey, yeah, so scientists like to say that comets are dirty snowballs. But it's like they've never seen a snowball before. They don't know what snowballs do. You know what snowballs do? Nothing. You gotta pick up a snowball and throw it for it to do anything. Snowballs don't make themselves. You know what I'm saying? So, what comets and snowballs have in common? Dirty snowballs. I don't know. Science could tell you. Get a scientist on the phone. It's impossible. 
I like prank calling scientists and astronomers. I will get their number and I'll dial them up and I'll say, yes, hello, do you have dark matter in a can? That gets me every time. They don't think it's funny though. Have I said enough? Have I said too much? Comets make people crazy. And they're omens, and omens are good or bad. Let's look up the definition of omen. Omen. It's a noun. An event regarded as a portent of good or evil. Bullet point. Prophetic significance. Well, can it be an event regarded as a portent of good and evil? Why well, must it be one or the other? I do not know. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. See? I don't know. How do you feel about comets? Tell me your craziest comet story. Mm hmm Comets are neither here nor there. But they're everywhere. Hey, do you remember when Sass was like, hey, we find a star that acts like a Dyson sphere. And then a week or two later, they're like, no, that star is being chased by a million comets. We got it all wrong. Yeah. Uh, true story, bro. True story about the stories. Okay, well, I'm done. Object 2013. You suck 10? Woohoo! And I feel heavy metal. Woohoo! All right, I think we're done. How do you feel about comets? Comets are crazy, just like me. And let us keep an eye out for... Solar flares and coronal mass ejections, because a lot of us really believe that comets affect the sun and interact with the sun all day and night. And we have a lot of proof to back us up. Why science won't agree, I don't know. They're stubborn a lot, especially astronomers, you know? It's like they're used to getting their way and never being told. All right, I got to go.